You don't have to spend too long in Japan to find out that people here love taking baths, especially if the water has been naturally heated. Thanks to an abundance of volcanic magma deep in the earth, Japan has around 27,000 sources of hot water from underground. Now, use this hot water for a bath and, hey presto, you've got yourself an onsen. Onsen are a bit of a national obsession in Japan. Hang on, sorry, that's wrong. Onsen are a matter of life and death for many Japanese, and if you don't believe me, believe the roughly 3,000 onsen resort towns scattered all across the country. Now, while all onsen are bound by law to use geothermally heated water, the onsen towns come in all shapes and sizes, with different scenery, atmospheres, and visitors, not to mention the variety of different minerals in the water and the bathhouses themselves. With so many onsen to choose from, how do you pick one to visit? Well, one way is to look at the rankings. Today I've come to Kasatsu Onsen, which is rated as the number one hot spring in Japan, according to an annual poll of people in the travel and tourism industry. That's all well and good, but maybe you're not easily impressed, like me. If so, then consider this it's been the number one for a whopping 19 consecutive years. So, what makes Kasatsu Onsen so special? And Is it worth a visit? At Kasatsu Onsen, the hot water is absolutely the star of the show. The centerpiece of the Onsen town is this large open area called the Yubatake, one of the major sources of hot water for the town that gushes about 4,000 litres of it every single minute. Yubatake's main function is to allow the water to cool. As when it exits the ground here, it's a positively scalding 55 degrees Celsius, or 132 degrees Fahrenheit. There are seven specially designed gutters for this task, and once it's a little less scorchio, it gets sent on to the bathhouses in around half of the inns here. The Yubatake was extensively remodeled into the distinctive round shape back in the 1970s by Japan's answer to Picasso, the avant garde artist Taro Okamoto. That's why we have the wooden walkways, seating, and footbaths. It's also you can soak up the atmosphere of the gushing water and steam while having a chat, drinking a beer, or people watching. To prove my point, Kasatsu lights up the Yubataki at night, when again the focus is on the water, with the illumination concentrating on the rising steam. Now, it's not unusual for onsen towns to have flowing hot water or pools of it on display in some form, but Kasatsu really went big on this idea, making Yubatake into the main attraction and focal point of the town. Other onsen towns sometimes centre around something else, like a river or a historic bathhouse, but they don't quite achieve the cosy, communal atmosphere that you get here in Kasatsu. There's no disputing the fact that Kasatsu is a tiny town. You can easily walk from the bus station to Yubatake in five minutes, and you should be able to reach your hotel or ryokan in ten minutes or less. Everything you might need is also within easy reach from the Yubatake. A convenience store and drugstore are on its perimeter, and supermarkets are only a few minutes' walk away. In comparison, Other popular onsen towns are positively sprawling and less convenient for visitors. Beppu, for example, is much, much bigger, and bathhouses aren't actually concentrated in one place. Now, while Kasatsu is compact, it actually doesn't feel that way. Take a wander around the back streets for a while, and you can easily get away from any crowds, to the point that you may feel as if you're in another place entirely. When I compare Kasatsu to other onsen towns I've visited, I can clearly see that it's avoided a really common pitfall in Japan, becoming over commercialized. Yifu Inn, I think, has fallen into this trap in recent years, to the point that I don't find it fun to visit. Now, I don't know if it's the influence of tradition here, or the relatively low number of foreign visitors that's responsible, but Kasatsu does touristy in just the right amount. 
Keeping the town looking traditional and tasteful also seems to be factored into any new buildings constructed here. Especially in the main area around the Yibatake, the town isn't packed full of towering hotels that ruin the surroundings. I'm looking at you, Dogo Onsen. Similarly, the vast majority of buildings around the Yibatake are either made wholly or at least partially from wood to maintain a traditional rustic look. The hot water in Kusatsu comes courtesy of the nearby Mount Shirane, an active volcano, and accordingly, the supply is absolutely colossal. More than 32,000 litres arrive every minute. In fact, if you collected a day's supply, the water would fill 230,000 barrels. The sheer volume coming to the town means that there's more than enough to continuously feed all hotels, ryokan and bathhouses with newly heated water fresh from the volcano. The ample supply makes it unnecessary to reheat or dilute the water, so you can always be sure you're getting the very best out of your soak. Because for Kasatsu, it's a matter of prestige that the water is top quality. Now, when looking at the rankings, Kasatsu is the only onsen in the top 10 with acidic water. Could it be that acidic water is the most relaxing? I think that depends on the person, but the water certainly has a long-standing reputation for helping the sick, one that started over 1,000 years ago. In the late 1800s, even leprosy sufferers came to Kasatsu hoping for effective treatment or to be cured. On top of this, the water's high acidity makes it immensely good at killing bacteria, so a bath at Kasatsu will probably leave you cleaner than you've ever been before. Now, before I get into the final reason why Kasatsu Onsen is worth visiting, consider if this video has been helpful or insightful so far. If you find yourself saying yes to yourself, prove it to me by giving that like button a nudge. And if you'd like to see more helpful and intriguing videos about travelling in Japan, and yes, of course you want that, hit subscribe. Now, let's face it, it doesn't matter how good the water is, if your onsen is in the middle of nowhere, you're not going to attract huge crowds of visitors. If you're starting in Tokyo, you can use your JR Pass to take the Limited Express and connecting bus to get here in around three hours. Alternatively, you could hop on a direct bus that'll take an extra hour, but you won't have to transfer. If we look at the other onsen towns in the top 10, for access from Tokyo, Kasatsu is the clear winner, except when compared to Hakone, which is a fair bit closer. For the other eight, there are only three places that I'd suggest you visit by Shinkansen and train from Tokyo, those being Gero, Arima and Wakura. And even with those places, you'd be wise to consider an overnight stay. The other five would require either much longer Shinkansen rides or a plane ride. Of course, you may be flying into Osaka, Fukuoka or another city when visiting Japan, in which case you'll certainly find other onsens easier to access. But consider making the trip up to Gunma because there's only one Kusatsu. I hope this video has been helpful and interesting for you today. See you in the next one.